Good morning from downtown Antalya. Yesterday we took a bus from Cash on a very windy road and got here late last night. We just left our bags at the hotel and now we're going to explore as much as we can in this one day before a night bus to Cappadocia. Let's explore! Subscribe to follow along. We're starting the market which we actually went for a run here this morning. No people around. Gorgeous. But now all the stalls are opening so we're going to go check them out. It's still early and not all the stalls are open, but it's still a pretty walk. And as you know, we like to look and not buy anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's so good. Pomegranate extract. We have this everywhere. It's like the balsamic vinegar. Is it good? Okay, this one's sweet. Oh, so it's more like syrup. Oh, it's so good. It's syrup. This city is blowing us away. We were just walking through this park and then we came to this. I mean, this is this is a big city. Population of two million and it's just peaceful, nature, warm, mountains, and warm, then white beach. Cat mountains. Following us around. <laughs> hey, buddy. We made it to one of the top historical sites to see here in Antalya, and it is what is it, Keith? The Hydrilic Tower, built in the second century AD as part of the fortifications for the city. So there's the tower behind us. Now we're making our way into the old town, and hopefully, we get to see more of the iconic monuments this way. other side of the old town and we made it to Hadrian's Gate. This fascinating structure was built in honor of the Roman Emperor Hadrian who visited the city in the year 130. Mm. If you need you can come to me no problem. You will be smiling. Oh, okay. <laughs> you will be smiling. It's oh well thank it you is, so thank much. You. It's so kind of you. So just walking by again and somebody gave us some more free food. So much Turkish delight and delicious goodness. Find something? Another historical monument. Check. I don't know what it's called though, but it's an old mosque. Devon, it's the Yivli Minaret, which was constructed in the 13th century. It's one of the first Islamic structures here in Antalya. It's pretty much the symbol of Antalya as well. So the soccer team, Antalya Sport, or Spor, that's their logo. Look at this guy just knowing all the history facts, and I'm just here. But fun fact, the reason that is is because he has data on his phone and I don't. What? Or just I, I know that beforehand. made it to the water and Keith didn't even have his GPS because I put it in my purse. She hid it from me. I mean, we didn't need it. We we're just going down. This is really cool. Look at this marina. So our new thing to do is find places that speak to us and the price speaks to us as well. So we stopped here for a Turkish coffee because it's that time of day when you'll need one instant coffee, you need a little pick. And this is a beautiful place. Uh, Cheers. Cheers, little bean. Check out the old port. Check. Now lots of stairs. Back at the park we started, we kind of saw it all. I think so. I think we managed to see all the important sites. We saw the tower. We saw the Hadrian's Gate, Yezil Minaret. Uh, we saw the old port. So everything. Now, and now we're just taking in this view again. Yeah, and we have to go grab our bags from the hotel because they were nice enough to hold them for us. So we're gonna go camp somewhere for a little bit until 7:30 when we have to take the tram all the way back to the bus station. But before we do that, we're gonna grab some food because we're getting hungry. 
I'm starving, I'm very excited. And just like that, we're done eating lunch. So time to get our bags and then we're gonna chill for a bit. Home for the next little bit. We're at Starbucks, decaf this time, but we gotta get some work done before our bus. And it's not that we ran out of things to do in Antalya. It's a fantastic city, like a coastal city that is worth visiting. It's just that we wanted to get some work done and we, we had to, to pick up our bags. Get our bags, exactly. Yeah. So we didn't want to lug these around when we were sightseeing. <laughs> exactly. It's been a bit and it's dinner time now, so we're gonna get some quick food before our bus. And by bus I mean tram, subway, and then bus. But first, food. Right on. Last meal before our night bus. Cheers, Debbie. And now for the tram and then the subway, which we have no idea how long it's going to take. So we gave ourselves lots of wiggle room. I was just waiting. Bit of a hassle as always, but we made it on. Now for the subway. Okay, we got in. This car didn't work anymore. We need the credit card. We had to take this guy, this is the old tram, transfer to this guy, and we almost missed our stop. I assume zero? No, we're on zero. I guess that's not the option. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing even though we were here yesterday. I think we go down again and then walk around. We did this yesterday and I feel so lost. I'm not gonna lie though, it is confusing. It's sort of a weird one. Wait, hold the elevator. Where are we? I need to get my Google Maps out. Alright, take two. So we're gonna go to one and then do a big a walk, walk. which we did last time. It was like a super excessive walk. Well, we have to do it again because we don't know where we are. Jeez. This corridor goes literally all the way down that way. And then it does a U-turn and goes all the way back. Okay, and now we're at the other end of the U-turn. We are back at the bus stop. Our bus leaves in an hour and seven minutes. So we're yeah, early. We made it to the bus station. We just chill out until our bus. <sighs> that went by quickly. And now it's time to get on our bus slash our hotel for the evening. <laughs> So this is home for the night. This is it. This is our transportation and our hotel, like Devin said. <laughs> so which gonna, is really cheap and a good way to do it. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna end our video here and we'll pick it up. I want to say that Antalya was yes. a beautiful city, and we were really happy that we got this day, even if it was a short day. Mm -hmm. No, it was such a great day and a good way to spend our time. It was and fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. See you in Cappadocia. Thanks for watching. Pretty lame behind us, eh? It's just all white. Just kidding. Check this out. Whoa! <laughs> I was not ready for this. The tower's over there, I think. Now for the subway. Where is it? Do I have it? Do you have it? We learned right now. You spelled your name wrong. Close Classic. Enough. Classic Starbucks. I was supposed to go to the bathroom, but I bought us each a banana. Oh, yeah. Because you never know when we're going to eat again. No, buy bananas because there'll be a perfect breakfast tomorrow at 6 a.m. when nothing's open. I mean, I only have one lira left because those are four liras, so I use my bathroom liras to buy bananas. Classic Keith forgot to grab something. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs>